All right, peace of Christ to all of you. And today we start our first episode of 15 minutes with Islam every day, uh, except the day of Sunday. However, one of you, he said to me that there is a Muslim Shia is going to debate me this coming Wednesday. Uh, therefore, if he confirmed to me that the debate will be in this coming Wednesday, that means we will do at 4 p.m. 15 minutes, and then I will start again at 4.30 to debate with this Shia. Is more than welcome and I hope we will see him soon now uh, the topic today is about evolution and as long only we have 15 minutes let us go for this topic the Muslims are very confused people and their religion is uh, is, a, is a mix of religions you see if you ask any Muslim who is the first man Allah created they will say to you he is Adam but pff, suddenly I found Muslims believe that Adam is not the first man which is really amazing how this religion is uh, i mean uh, what what is what is the like a structure of this religion why why muslims believe that adam is the first man and then we find muslims make an article saying adam is not the first man if you read with me this article as long as we don't have much time to uh, go over it uh, word by word you will see amazing uh, uh, i mean <laughs> I, I don't like to use the word stupid sometimes, but I have to. They claim that when Adam and Eve were still in paradise, someone was on earth already shedding blood and causing mischievement. Why? They are quoting from chapter 2, verse number 30. So the Muslims, because their Quran is very confusing, and the one, the author of the Quran, he is making a stupid statement, they are thinking, okay, as long as the angels they are saying to Allah, uh, are you going to create someone who would do mischievement? But look what the verse, you know, uh, they quote for us, they quote for us their own choice of a verse. And here you will see uh, how, how ignorant they are. They are just saying in the line up that obviously based on this verse, there is a group of people or they are a human being before Adam were, were created. Why? Why? Because of this verse. But look what this verse is saying. In the top they said when Adam and Eve were still in paradise someone on earth was already shedding blood why you get this conclusion because they said and your Lord said to the angels I will make a successor on earth <laughs> the reason for the Muslims by the way to be confused here because the one when they when they collect the Quran there is two words depend in the recitation or the reading as you know the Muslims they have many recitation for the Quran which means there's many Quran so here the word is Khalifa yes let me switch to Arabic the word is used here Khalifa Khalifa is the same the word you use like a, like a caliph you know the same word exactly Khalifa mean a successor this is why they call the one who succeed Muhammad a successor so Khalifa so they are saying to themselves if this is uh, if Adam is the first one how the Quran says the first you know uh, Allah is going to create a successor and they are right in this because the one who wrote the Quran is an idiot for a very simple reason you see when the Arabic is written there was no uh, dots so here if I put two dots next to the dot here let me show you the, the other word which is the, the the in the other reading of the Quran. The real word was Khaliqa. So is it Khalifa or Khaliqa? Khaliqa means creation, that makes sense. Now, what the difference between Khalifa and Khaliqa? Nothing but a dot. But remember, when Islam was created, or the Quran supposedly collected, there was no dots. So the word written both of them they are the same there's no different so if I write now using my mouse and I ex excuse me for my writing is not going to be perfect because I'm using my mouse all right so it was like this there's no dot here and there's no two dots here and now the confusion is because if it is one dot here or two dots the two dots will make it a creation the one dot will make it successor so because the, the 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 one who collect the Quran who wrote the word wrongly 
now the Muslims are confused they are saying to themselves how the Quran says Allah will make a successor if there is nobody yet so Adam based in this verse he is going to be a successor he is not the first man and this is not the fault of the Muslims this is the fault of the stupid uh, uh, writer or the one who wrote the Quran and then the Muslims after that they did not correct the, the, the mistake and actually I can show you tons of reference of how the Muslims they disagree about this word if is it Khalifa or Khalifa some of them they say it is Khalifa some of them they say it's Khalifa and as you see both of them they are written exactly the same way the only difference between them is the dots if we take those dots you know then the problem will go so what we have here we have a, a one of one of the other version of the Quran and which is I believe the original but what the Quran saying Allah he said he is going to create a, a, a successor and the Muslims they are confused about it however you know we know that Islam is not only based in the in the Quran and we know that the Muslims they don't take only the Quran to compare it I mean to 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 be the, the everything to be judged with it we have the hadith so why the Muslim do not use the hadith to find out what Muhammad is saying or what he mean about this because as you know uh, uh, interpretation can be very between person to person between sect to sect Shia they have interpretation different from the interpretation of Sunni and the same there's there's, there's thousands of Islamic sect all of them are confusing uh, and here they say to you well don't you see that Allah he says do you see your semen so Allah is the one who created the semen that's not that's not true you see this is metaphorical the first creation was Adam and Eve and then from Adam and Eve was the semen so everyone but it's not their fault again it is the fault of the author of the Quran who starts saying sometime he say I created it from dust sometime he says I created you from semen so which one because semen is not your creation you created the first man and the first man you gave him ability to make semen it's not you who's making semen so it is not the fault of the Muslims but I find it very funny that try trying to make that this is about evolution because the evolution of the Quran is very you know is, is is the opposite direction of the evolution of science but why because according to the Quran uh, 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 as we know that Allah he made it from the human monkeys if you remember the story where a bunch of Jews they did uh, uh, fishing in Saturday Allah he cursed them and he made them pigs and uh, and uh, and uh, 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 monkeys so the Muslims obviously they are really so confused and they have no idea what to do with their own religion and because of that you know like okay uh, uh, this verse say this and that verse says this so how we can match between them how we can make this happen how we can make both work there's contradiction obviously so either Allah he created me from mud or he created me from an, 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 an dust or he created me from a sperm which one Allah when he say do you remember when I created you from a sperm okay but you did not create him from a, from a sperm you created Adam and you created Eve and you gave ability to Adam and Eve took to recreate so uh, the Muslims because of that they are very confused and they are you know they are like uh, going in let us say in a mad mood you know like when you have a virus go inside your computer and computer start like having pop-up windows and things go crazy and you do not know what to do and what's wrong uh, uh, this chapter in front of us chapter 2 verse number 65 it says it clearly that those who uh, they broke the Sabbath Allah he made them pigs and monkeys so the evolution of Islam is totally the opposite of anything about to do with science and I, I, me myself I don't believe in the stupid evolution of uh, Darwin because it is it is uh, actually first it's a racist thing uh, secondly it's a stupid and there is no proof of it except theories and uh, until now it's just it's just a theory however you agree with me or not this is not what Islam is teaching so the Muslims because they are so desperate to find a miracle in their Quran to say that Allah he spoke of evolution they come with this now to get the Muslim busted with all this speech you are making we will go to the hadith and we will show you what the hadith says about the evolution if you see here uh, let us go here let us see the evolution which the Muslims they said that the ancestor they used to look different etc Muhammad he confirmed that Adam is the same he was created before is the same as he created today 
he says here Abu Yahya said don't say me Allah make your face uh, uh, such and such like ugly etc Muhammad he said to them don't say that because Allah he made Adam in his image and by the way this is something he copied from the Bible where it says that God he made Adam in his image but the Muslims they have different understanding they say that this is mean that nothing changed however as long as the Muslims they believe in that we will go with it no problem so why you are saying to me and lying to yourself and saying we believe in evolution and there was a group of people before him so the first man was Adam here you will see that what the Prophet said Allah created Adam in his picture 60 cubit which mean which mean according to your Prophet we became small and we used to be 60 cubit and the Muslim believe when we will go back to heaven we are going to be 60 cubit again now just to show you something more confusing Muhammad in the hadith he said that the message of Allah said when Allah created Adam he whipped his back and every person that he created among his offspring until the day of resurrection fell out of his back if you remember this is the same hadith but with different spice about Allah he hit the the the, the Adam in his uh, uh, right shoulder and he made the white people from there and he hit Adam in the left shoulder and he made the black people from there and the, and the white people will go to heaven and the and the one in the le, uh, right sorry in the left they are the black people they will go to hell and Allah he said I don't care so we we spoke about this hadith before now here you will see how Allah he created all the seeds of Adam by hitting his back and now after he hit them he hit him he got all the creation in front of him look at look, look what it says and this is why the Muslims they have the most stupid prophet who, who say something have nothing to do I mean it's a madness it's a it's, it's a contradiction what what this guy is saying that we are created all of us when Adam was alive all of us read with me uh, so when he did hit him in his back uh, and every person that he created among the his offspring until the day of resurrection fell out of his back <laughs> it's like yeah we are in a box and Allah he hit the box and all of us we came out immediately and then he placed a ray of light between the eyes of every person then he showed them to Adam what the heck and then he said Adam he said oh Lord who are those people he said these are your offspring he saw one of them wear ray between his eyes amazed him Ooh, who is that so he said oh Lord who is this guy Allah he said this man is the wood which means David I mean what the Muslims are talking about you're a prophet he talked too much he make too much fictions and he say too much stupid stories and that will destroy all your logic and will make you look funny and you might make you look dumb so you know sorry I don't mean to insult Muslims but this is how your prophet is this is a dumb story you are a created me me created in the same day Adam created this is what the Quran is saying so why in the world you Muslims don't read don't educate yourself and you don't see what your prophet is saying to you the problem is the following many of you knows and the most of you have no idea what Islam is about Muslims are nation of copy and paste and copy and paste nation are dumb nation and welcome to Christian Prince so you can learn from him feel free to copy my video I will post this link under the video so you guys you can copy it and share it may the Lord bless you all and see you soon again tomorrow 15 minute with Islam discover Islam in 15 minutes without being perfectly correct thank you and God bless